Did you do your Memorial Day thing? No, I'm doing it this afternoon. Okay. I typically do it early, but we had a late night and I had an early rise and then I had a movie to watch. And so I'll go see Stephen Walker this afternoon. How's the old so-and-so? Dead. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid breakfast with Corbin. I'm Rick. And you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to his Instagram. He's yeah, about I, many every, times every Memorial Day I go and I visit a, a soldier named Stephen Walker because I, well, you should see it on there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for everybody. It's a shigabah. Feedy Ha, ha, ha. Roop. Roop Paul. Roop Paul. Roop Paul. How was Succession? You enjoy it? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't spoil it. I haven't given it. I'm not even on the current season, so... <laughs> I, I'm way behind. I just, it's just obviously I've heard just, everybody loved it. Though. Yeah, such a start to finish, brilliant, yeah. beautiful show, incredible thespianatic muscle from the cast, and as always, WGA, more power to you, the writers, man, life blood of the craft. Yeah. Oh, and today we're doing a movie review, and we're doing a movie review of the uh, new 2023 film that just came out uh, sometime last we week. Could go. Sometime last yeah, week. We yeah, we could go. Uh, I thought it was called Banda, but it's... I know. Uh, it the has, full name. It has a really long name. Yeah, the full name is Surf Ek Banda Coffee Hay, or Hai. Uh, um, so I don't know exactly yeah, what that means. But yeah, it's advertised just The Banda, banda. Is, the, is the the biggest word. It's something about a common man being a hero, I think. Man versus uh, God man. Yeah. Uh, directed by... And forgive mispronunciations, as always, ladies and gentlemen, Apoor of Singh Karki. And uh, written by... Deepak Kangrani. And starring... Our dosty of dosts, Manoj Bajpayee. Uh, Manoj Bajpayee. Ah, indeed, he will indeed. he will once do something really good, someday, someday. Uh, you could someday. see the you could see the potential. Uh, maybe after some of my acting classes, <laughs> he could reach the potential he's striving for. Yes, right. Yes, if, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, <laughs> since it, it and it's also on Z, so uh, if you haven't watched, it's exclusive. It didn't go to have a theatrical release, so it went straight to Z five. Yeah. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it on Z five. There, this will be. Uh, <laughs> non-spoiler. Yeah, non-spoiler. Non spoiler front, Spoiler and then, back. Well, if we want to get into some spoils, we'll get into some spoils. Yeah, if you want to get spoiled, go to the back. The at least that's what happens at the hustler store. <laughs> the synopsis is a common man with honesty and integrity can take on the system when he has truth on his side. Just like us. Yes. Yeah. Always have truth on my side. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so once again, this will be uh, get a tattoo. Non word truth. Non-spoiler uh, at the beginning, and then we will tell you before we get into some spoils. Uh, so, Rick, yep. your initial thoughts of the film? Please. Initial thoughts are that I liked it. Um, it. I didn't love it, but I, I liked it a lot. I loved as what a surprise. Uh, he's he's Mister Durability, Mister Dependability. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what Lou Gehrig was to the Yankees. Just you put him on the field, he's going to be there every day, and he's going to do exactly what you need him to do. That is, <laughs> that's what you get with Manoj Bajpayee. Yeah. Um, there, there were just there were some things I'll get into. Probably, well, we could get it in the initial third. So just a couple things that had to do with, um, just stylistic. There's nothing wrong with it stylistically. It's just not my preferred style mm. of of a courtroom drama. But I, I can see the audience they were intending to go for. Mm. So for the audience they're wanting to reach, I think they did a, a, a very good job. Okay. But I, I didn't I didn't love it. I just I liked it and I would recommend it. Interesting. No, I really actually enjoyed this movie, so I'm interested to know your thoughts here um on it. Uh but yeah, there's uh, I uh, there's a lot I really enjoyed, specifically certain elements of the courtroom drama in terms of what they actually went for as opposed to normal courtroom dramas mm -hmm. that I, 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 Manoj Bajpai, I, um, I asked on Twitter days ago, I said, who do you think that's acting now that is not currently uh, called in GOAT status, right? Yeah. So I'm going to talk about Shuns. Um, right. Uh, of the greatest yeah, of all time. And they have to be living then and, and, still, and, and still acting. Right. Um, so like, you can't include Nasir. You can't include Amitak Bakshan, uh, Mo Mohan Lal. Yeah, taboos. The people that are already in the conversation of the goats. And have been for decades. Yes. Um, so yeah, oh, but, and, and he's living. He's living as okay. well. And so I was like, who do you think could be, by the end of their career, oh. known as the goat? Um, I, I have no doubt. 
uh, Manoj Bajpayee, uh, will be known as one of the goats by the end of his career. Absolutely. Of, in, especially Hindi cinema, of just his versatility and what he can do. Because um, he, he's one of the most versatile actors I've ever seen. Absolutely. Um, because obviously he's in the same echelon as you know your fans of the worlds and Bankajas and and the Wazes and 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 those people, um, but man, he has such versatility and he's always choosing these roles that are um, so heavy and, and and grounded. But he always brings a uniqueness yes. to it. Yes, he does. Um, so I I loved his performance. I thought it was. Super, <laughs> there was. I, I can't talk about specific parts because it's non spoilers. There's so many parts in it that they were really interesting decisions that he oh, made. Man, I would love to talk to him about, uh, about just decisions in this, like this. Movie. It was a fully fleshed character, it wasn't just this man, as always, a man that was holier than ever, like better than everybody else. He has, he, even though he has a moral compass and he, he, he he's, he's a realist, he's a realist, yeah. but he also. There's specific nuances that they gave him mm -hmm. that was like he's actually a little a little grayer uh, in these areas, and also like he it's certain things that he did that I was like it's super endearing for this very character. endearing, very humble, yeah, uh, um, very very cute. Uh, but then also he turns it on when he needs yeah. to turn it on. He's a fully fleshed out uh, so human I, being. Makes no it's no surprise coming yeah. from Anoush Bajpayee, one yeah. of the greatest uh, of all time in Indian cinema in the world right now, acting. Yeah. If his name, there are many people that if their name is attached to something, you'll know one thing, they're going to do a great job. Uh, <laughs> even when they're given scripts that aren't that great, which is very difficult to navigate. Thankfully, for the most part, when you reach the stature of a Manoj, you're not going to agree to something until you've read script. You, you, by the way, you should do that anyway. <laughs> I, irrespective of where you are in your career, I would hope that as an actor, you're only going to do projects that resonate with you and you read words that you believe you can incarnate. And just he's he's always, always good, as are a lot of the familiar faces that are part of the cast that mm -hmm. we've seen many, many times. Just the minute you see them on screen, you're excited because yeah. you know they're going to do a great job with this role. Yeah, the um, the... Other attorneys as well. Yeah, um, all the one, all the and our main judge, our main judge, yep. the the main attorney, and then all yep. the, the separate attorneys that came in. The the guy who played the priest or the, not the priest, the yeah, the, the god Baba, man, Babu. Um, yes, I forget, I don't remember his name. He didn't actually say a lot, but I could tell. Like you could, he gave the um, feeling of a of a man who and and looked like him because of the images I've seen of the actual man. He's very representative. Exactly. Yeah, very um, representative. And so. All of that was for the dad. I thought the little girl did well. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to give a shout out to her. I, I'll mispronounce your name probably. Uh, Adrija uh, Sinha. But this is her first feature. She's really? Done, she's done eight episodes of another TV show. Okay. But this is her first feature film. Wow. Great job. Great. Yeah. Great I wanted to commend you. you. That was a lot of emotion. A very difficult role to portray and make us believe you are that girl and I see why they chose you and you did an excellent excellent job and I'm looking forward to what else you do because that was very strong very very strong I, I liked it a lot yeah uh, her performance uh, I did too it's really surprising that this was like her first real I know feature. I was I was very surprised um, and and very happy hats to see off that. to the director there for um for taking and we've seen a lot in casting in, for, in, for for, for in, uh shivan gupta great great casting all around in we've seen a lot in indian cinema taking no people that aren't actors at all from villages right or young actors or just non-experienced actors and just getting really good performances out of them yes uh it's it seems like a common theme it is um, and i'm because it's not a common theme here no it's not and it's it's it, this so resonates with me right now because i've been i've been working on articulating and and weaning down everything that i'm going to do for my my acting classes that are coming up in june and july and that's one of the things i'm just saying over and over again is that acting isn't easy but it doesn't have to be hard and that's one of the great examples of that is when yeah. you see people because at its basis there are some particular skills and some particular disciplines but uh, too often a lot of actors particularly american actors there's either two problems they face one is they just want to be stars so training doesn't matter yeah or they have training, but there's there's so much of the different approaches and processes they don't even they don't know they're up from their down or their left from their right, and it, it's very difficult. And yeah. and and 
yeah, that's that's one of the great things about a good director who knows how to speak the language of acting mm -hmm. at a very basic level to explain. Here's what I here's this is just what I want you to do, yeah. and it it shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the one of the thing I, I really enjoyed about this was, it, and you could tell me what you maybe this is part you didn't like. I don't know. Um, this. Because in normal courtroom dramas, that there's something awful that happened, just like this, a, mm -hmm. a rape or, right. or, or whatever, right? Uh, something terrible. Yeah, it's normally the like either the other lawyer usually has an upper hand; they're better at what they do, or like the 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 laws that are in place make it so the other guy gets off, or, right, or whatever. I really enjoy the fact that through every single step, Minoj always seemed like the most prepared and uh, skilled lawyer in the entire thing. So it gave me actual hope mm. for for um, the the uh, legal system, <laughs> which yeah. these things no, no, don't normally do that for me. I uh, know <laughs> they don't because it's too far too often. He's, they, he has a off. line. Yeah. yeah, he has a line in there. I don't remember who he said it to. This isn't a spoiler, by the way. It's just it's it's a part of every movie about. Yeah. law yeah and and he said i think he says it to the judge at one point very early in the film when he said it's not about who's right but what's right mm -hmm. and too often law in all countries is more about knowing how to work the legal system and prove your case yeah. prove that you are right versus us knowing what is right yeah. where is the justice yeah. where is the truth so yeah i this is very encouraging to know that yeah it's based on the true story yeah, and yeah, that yeah. this this is the man is yeah, yeah. in prison for life. Uh, yeah, thank God. Yeah, which doesn't normally happen to no rape, uh, too, uh, rapists. Too often they get away, and the woman is shamed. Yep, too often. It's uh, and, the majority of the and time. it was so sad. Obviously, when it's not a spoiler, it just happens in Indian culture sometimes. Obviously, like she's meant to put a something around her face, like she did. Something I know. Wrong. I know. Uh, by, by the way, we're comfortable telling you outcome of cases in because this is so prevalent and known yeah. Yeah, yeah. that the moment you even look up this film you're going to see boom is you know you, you you it's not about the verdict it's about what transpires and if it's a just verdict yeah right yeah exactly yeah um but what was i saying uh i don't know i'm sorry i went i just yeah. wanted to make sure that the, dis either. the disclaimer of uh, uh. <laughs> No, you were talking about uh, women and the veil. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just so sad to watch. Um, and it, even though, like, it wasn't as hard to watch as some other courtroom dramas, which I actually appreciate it because sometimes it's, like, so painful and, like... Um, because it's just so disgusting, and yeah. they, they lean in, and also there's a bunch, like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that normally happens that it's like I can't believe they let that happen in the law right. system or whatever. This one didn't have that, which I actually appreciated, um, because you know you don't normally get that. No, and and I know it's a true story. That's and, one of the things. That's what I said at the outset is that it was designed in such a way as to be palatable to a broader audience yeah. that felt very clear throughout that they were making choices based on we want to take a very serious story and we we don't want to dilute it but we also want to make it accessible yeah in a, in a different way than say deli crime yeah which took a comparable kind of disgustingness and was a bit more just raw yeah. real rated r yeah uh, and and that's just a creative choice yeah. and that's what i meant by one of the things for me is i prefer a little farther it's just my personal preference. It says nothing about the capacity of the film or the mm -hmm. quality of the film. Yeah. It's just my personal preference. I would prefer to see a film that is covering such serious subject matter in a way that's more mm -hmm. ac akin to deli crime. Gotcha. But this has its own benefits. Yeah. So that's why I'm just being honest about the differentiation of loving it versus really yeah. liking it. I get that. I actually just I actually really appreciate the fact that I didn't feel like normal disgusted yeah. that I normally do because I was it like, makes it accessible. That's, that's also different. Yeah, for this genre, it makes it accessible. The normal the, thing that you would feel is the, the it just uh, you feel gross. Very, and it's it's a it's a it's a movie. I don't know how many people would do it. I absolutely would have done this if when when my kids were teens. This this would be a movie that would be important to share with a teen who already understands the birds and the bees. That's the case in point, big time, and understands 
this issue and that this is a real issue in the world, not just to be protective of yourself and others, yeah. but to know this kind of thing goes on in the world and justice needs to be served. And this is a really good film yeah. to do that with somebody who's but they did you know, also teens push and love. it at, at times with with certain characters that died and they actually sh- like yeah they, there's, there's, they did I don't want to give anything away no there there there's some like, there's they some actually instances. show certain things of, yeah and I'm like whoa they didn't dang. they didn't. They definitely didn't disnify it, nor did they make it no. a general admission. This is PG-13. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, and I also I enjoyed the score. There were at times that I, I wish they would have put less score. Sometimes. Yeah, Not all the times. Normally, I probably 90% of the film, I, I really enjoyed the score. But there there were times like when the, – the, I, I can't give anything away because obviously I, no, I don't want to give anything away. That was the other thing for me. Yeah. The two things for me that little, changed from little a love to a really like yeah. was what I just mentioned in regard to stylistic decisions that were just my preference. But then the other one, and this also is another stylistic choice. I think the majority of Indians who see this won't have a problem with yeah. the scoring because they're so accustomed to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But for our liking, yeah. it, it was way overscored for um, me. Way overscored. I, I wouldn't say it was way overscored, but I, there were definitely times that I was like, the, the, I wish you would have not even put no, music behind yeah, this. Yeah, the, there were you know, moments when it sure. came back. I, I was 20 minutes in, I thought, oh, goodness, please don't keep doing this. Oh, yeah. And then it got to the point where by the time we we're getting to the end of the film, like clockwork, it was predictable. And there it came, and I went, oh, God. It wasn't that bad for me. It was for me. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, anyways, so I, I would definitely recommend this film. I, I, I would, too. I would put it easily in one of the best films of the year so far, uh, of the year, in the five months that we've had of the year so far, uh, for especially for Hindi cinema. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't I can't even tell you what other... And I, it's there have been some, but I just can't even remember. And I, I don't, I don't know how specifically correct I did, as we usually do, some research to find out that the majority of the large events and the story are factually accurate. Yeah, there. Whether or not, for example, dialogues or monologues that take place in the courtroom. I have no idea if those were scripted out of the transcripts from the actual court cases or they were just inspired by the case and then dramatic license was taken. Yeah, for sure. Either way, um, I, I agree with you. I, I, I this is that's a it's a worthy watch primarily for for the acting uh, and the importance of the story yeah. in an accessible format. Yeah, I think it's a little more than that, but I get it. I understand your 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 qualms. This is not one that you're an idiot. So yeah, thank you. There are times. There are times. Yeah, yeah. most of the time actually. Yeah, I understand. So it's like I'd say ninety five percent of your reviews are utter bullshit. Yeah, I understand. 5%, that. This is fine. I, uh, yeah, I understand Anyways, you feel that way. Uh, <laughs> But uh, this is our that was our non spoiler review. We're yeah, gonna get now into some spoils. The spoils. Um, so the full Monty. If you haven't seen it, please go watch. We're just gonna get a little more in depth on certain things we wanted to talk about. Uh, Could you believe that everyone died? I did. Uh, I can't believe you dropped that nuke. I know. Uh, <laughs> right in the courtroom. Anyways, so if you haven't watched it, it's on the yeah, five. Go, go away. Watch it. This Come is back. for those of you who've seen it. Uh, there's certain things about Minoj I wanted to talk about because uh, I, I really pre- his performance is obviously the main thing of this film that you is we're probably going to talk about the same nuances worth of admission yeah right? so first thing even before uh was actually the fact that i i was super surprised at what he did to his kid remember that when he has the eruption when he has the eruption right because like yeah that didn't shock me before that you were like this man he loves this and i, I have no doubt that he still loves his child that's not what i'm saying not at he all lo- of course he loves his child but you didn't see that anger come out and you understood the anger when it happened yeah and you don't and they didn't show it so you didn't know if he was hitting him in the face or spanking him you or, just heard it what he did you assume with indian culture he's probably hitting him in the face and yeah. that's just a uh, uh, kind of a norm right but it gave him more of a gray area uh, for this character mm-hmm. not that he's bad at all it made him human but yeah it it was like Oh, you're taking this man who seemed very righteous in court and all this stuff, but he's not perfect. No, he, and I and you understood why he, because he was like he thought his kid was dead. He thought they right they, or they kidnapped his kid. Right, and he was just and so all that frustration came out. And you don't want him to do that, but you like you understood it. Mm-hmm. And but it was also super interesting that they they gave his character that little element. So you're like, oh yeah. And obviously, we don't we don't know the real relationship between the actual attorney and his son. No, no, no. But the endearing nature of them calling each other buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you within the text a closeness without having to show that to you later on is a forgivable expositional. It's not even exposition. It's just character setup. But the thing I liked about what you're talking about is it's what Guillermo del Toro said in a conversation about why he loves monsters and why he does not like 
characters that are just nice all the time because it's not believable. And Guillermo said, at 9.30, you wake up and you're a good neighbor. And then at 10.45, you're a bad son. And at 11 o'clock, you're a very good parent. And then at 1.30, you're a terrible citizen. We're all complex and yeah. none of us is just nice or always good. Yep. And that's one of the great things about the way he's depicted is yep. that though he is the moral compass of the story, he's a human being. Yeah, and the other elements of him that I really enjoyed were his in court when he Yeah, that's was, what I knew we were gonna talk about. He that. was so, like you could tell he's looked up to these certain attorneys that are probably these, I, I'm his guessing, heroes. like really yeah. high, uh, high end expensive attorneys that he's read all their Oh, they're his publishings. heroes. Yeah. You could like, you saw that admiration for them, uh, which is actually it's not uncommon in, in courtroom films because even though like one is arguing for and one's arguing against, they they realize that they are um, uh, professionals and this is their job. Yeah, it's their right? job, and everybody knows each other. It's yeah, a small industry. Um, <laughs> but you like you saw, especially like when he was trying to emulate. <laughs> I okay, that's one of the things I wanted to know if that was scripted or if that was just a, yeah, who um, knows? Um, yeah. because. I, I loved because he takes note of the pounding on the table. And as you watch him take he was note just of the admiring pounding, him while he was talking. Yeah, he's just admiring the prowess of this great litigator yeah. and this great defender and this and, and and then you see him incorporate that and you actually watch him in the moment have a recognition of checking himself as to whether or not that was genuine or if he was caught. <laughs> <laughs> copying his idol across the, the aisle from yeah. him. And it, there was no indicating at all. So I don't know if that was scripted or if that was just Minoj being the character. Yeah. And yeah. It, 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 Great moment. His his character was so... Because he obviously had such power and he was so good at his job. Yeah. Uh, which was wonderful Very to thorough. watch. Very thorough. Uh, but then he had so many moments like when he was getting the principal or whatever her name is to admit that she forged it. Right. And he just turned to her and he smiled. Yeah. It was such an endearing smile. It, it, very much. <laughs> very um, much. So no he, malice in this guy. No, he's just doing his job and even, doing it extremely well. Yeah, even even when he is clearly upset, he has a very level head about knowing what this legal process is going to be at the outset, telling the dad, are you prepared for the fact that you're going to be blamed for this? Because mm -hmm. you need to be. He has absolutely full realism, and you don't even see – he knows it's reprehensible, but the disgust of what happened, he doesn't let it out until his final monologue yeah. and his closing statement. And even when he does, he recognizes he kind of went beyond decorum a little bit by imposing his own feelings into it and apologizes to the court. Yeah, yeah really wonderful. And uh, just brilliantly done by a brilliant actor. Yeah. He's uh, always he's... wonderful. Always and he, good. And so different. Think of his entire career and how different every character is. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Uh, <laughs> that, that's my, those are my favorite types of actors or the ones that you can look and you're like, wow, those are all so different mm -hmm. from each other. Even the one he did last year of the, the little small film that we so, love. So, so different and such a, uh, a differently complex kind of a human being mm -hmm. in that film, which challenge-wise was we I, we said that in that review. If you haven't seen that movie, uh, the challenge that that role cannot be played by anybody, his role, other than someone at the level of Minoj. His role in Satya, his role in gangs, his role in like he, he's just so different. His role in Family Man, yeah. Even though like Irfan, one of the goats, you always see Irfan usually though, like in in his roles, you're always like this endearing, beautiful, brilliant actor of a man. You always see Irfan. I don't always see Minoj. Um, which is, it's just a different no, style it's of acting. No, it's just a different, it's, I mean, he would tell you he's there. I, like, just like, no one doubts Michael Caine and his greatness. I'm no. always aware it's Michael Caine. No, there's, yeah, there's a <laughs> differentiation. It also, it also depends on the roles. Because, for example, the, 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 the most astonishing shapeshifter, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. There are a couple of his roles that are really approximate, the most approximate being Phantom Thread. Yeah. But even Last of the Mohicans has an approximation that's somewhat him. Yeah. Whereas Bill the Butcher and Daniel Plainview are, are not even, and Lincoln, they're not even remotely close yeah. uh, to him. Exactly. But yeah, he, he has the capacity. There are some actors who all actors ought to use and incorporate themselves into character. But there are some who have a gifting. It can't be taught. Mm-hmm. 
They have a gifting that allows them to be shapeshifters. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, uh, in, no. In I, I, everyone else I thought was really yeah, solid. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt... The dad um, and the mom were really good. Yeah. And I... I ultimately, like I had said, the only... It. Yeah. The yeah. only things that kept me from loving it were the style of it kept me a bit distanced in terms of the riveting nature of it. Mm -hmm. It's not... Anybody's fault. It's just my preference and style for this kind of story, and then the the score being gotcha. too much. Gotcha. That's it. I understand. Yeah, that's it. Um, I really, really enjoyed this film. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the year so far. Um, so, uh, and again, shout out to the young lady. Uh, I, I'm excited to see what else she can she can do because exactly. she did a very good job. Let us know what you thought about this film. Watch we are next to Manoj Bush. We still have a lot of his. We have a lot of never stuff to gotten see. to. Yeah. Uh, for Manoj, uh, and uh, let us know what that should be down below.